guys, this is Orshi and this is going to be the reading for or after the first episode for the new show called The Winchesters. I was a big supernatural fan and we're gonna be using the deck which you know if you you know if you know me you know that I love and hate this deck at the same time. And I also have the guidebook even with me because I'm terrible with names, so half of the characters' names I'm not gonna be you know remembering. And if it's important for the reading, I'm going to pull out the, the guidebook to check it. And it, this is going to be something similar that I do or, you know, like I still do, yeah, for the House of the Dragon TV show, which I really enjoy doing. So, you know, that is ending soon. I needed something new. And this is going to be a perfect, uh, uh, you know, opportunity to actually use this deck more than just sometimes try to use it <laughs> because lazy pips you know lazy pips um i don't entirely know what i want to check on after the first episode uh, i kind of liked it um it it gave me a little of a scooby-doo or scooby gang feeling you know with the, with them being so young and everything and maybe it's because very left off with Supernatural, they, uh, those characters were seasoned, they went through a lot, you know, and there was experience with everything and history and baggage and all that uh, stuff, which I appreciated a lot. And I was ridiculously happy to see Dean at the end. <laughs> but, you know, I I think I just have that expectation to continue with something like that. But obviously, this is a new show. This is... Uh, a new setting it's before the original series so you know we don't know most of the characters we know mary and um, the boy's father obviously uh, you know john winchester uh, and i think the cast for him was really good he has that same dreamy kind of lost puppy look that uh, sam has which i think it's a really good choice because it's it kind of shows that you know even though, you know, we know that they are not related, actually, but they have the same quality uh, that you would uh, find in a parent and child relationship, which I really liked. I'm not entirely sure what I think about Mary yet, um, because, but I think it's because we, we met um, and learned about her uh, in a different uh, setting, you know, not just oh, this was her when she was younger. It, we, we learned about things, how she got changed after dying and coming back and all that stuff. So, you know, it. I might not be too fair on her yet. I'm not saying I don't like her. It's just I'm not entirely connected to her as Mary yet. I hope I'm, it's going to change because I really want to like this show, actually. But we will see. Uh I think it was a good, uh, you know, first episode overall. You have to, you had to establish a lot of new characters. Like there's five main guys, I think, um, in this, uh, at least, you know, at the start of the, the season. And we're going to check on, uh, I don't want to be too morbid and, you know, just check who's going to die because A, it doesn't matter because if someone dies in uh, Supernatural, it doesn't mean they're going to stay dead. And it's going to be, I'm assuming, the same for the Winchesters as well. Uh, I miss the car. I hope they're going to get the car soon because that car is beautiful. And I know that Dean is driving it at the end, but, you know, I, I miss I miss the car. But um, I, so I think this first episode is just going to be a few cards to pull a general sense of the of the season or what we we can expect from it. And then as soon as the story develops, as soon as we have more have events and uh, relationships, uh, we can do more in-depth and focused readings because with House of the Dragon, so much shit is happening in just one episode that you can do a whole hour of readings, you know, on just half of an episode. But with this one, this is a more not regularly paced show. So it's not like there was a ton of things that you can actually check on without uh, not without spoiling yourself because I'm not saying that these are you know spoilers in that sense but I think you know we, we just started to scratch the surface so I think that's okay and uh, I don't know if I mentioned but I'm a little sick so you know my brain is not fully functioning anyway <laughs> 
and it's it's a deck that I kind of like shuffling because I like the cardstock in a way, but it's still clumping together as you can see. So uh, I'm not really sure how much I can actually shuffle, but you know this deck is going to be used in re actual readings, and that's always a good thing uh, because uh, you know it's this is one of the reasons why it's cool to have. Uh, these decks that you can do something like this and I kind of wish that I would still watch The Walking Dead if it's still on I think it's still on because I could do uh, I could use the zombie deck to do readings for that one I'm kind of tempted to go back but I was annoyed with that show so I'm maybe not but let's pull a few cards oh we have the Hierophant with that herself okay so I'm just pulling cards to see what the show is going to be about in a general you know sense and then we will see after the second episode i think we can go more into the personal stuff because you know there's no kind of there's no point to pull a reading on mary and um, john's relationship because we know where they end up uh, but the others are kind of interesting but we didn't see enough yet i think uh, besides the whole scooby gang feeling um to know where to concentrate okay six of cups nostalgia <laughs> i mean if you think about it it's a perfect card uh, because it's it's nostalgic for us supernatural fans <laughs> and it's it's actually takes place in the past of you know uh, characters so okay, that's, i kind of i kind of find it funny Okay, and also, you know, if you think about it, uh, all these characters, and I, I appreciated that, um, I think it was in the last uh, scene or somewhere around there that someone said that, uh, oh, I can't remember what exactly they said, but it was something like, uh, the hardest part is not how a haunt uh, starts, but it's how it, it always ends really difficult or something like that. I'm really butchering that quote. But I really appreciated the honesty about that and that the characters who were already involved in hunting were not naive anymore to think that this is just something cool that we do because they kind of gave off that feeling when they started. Oh, Eight of Pentacles. And okay, Ten of Swords. Let's, let's, and we have the Seven of uh, Bones, which are Wands in this deck at the bottom let me just check the screen okay we're all in and of course i bumped my holder whatevs so um what did i wanted to say with that i don't even know i just that yeah i appreciated that you know it wasn't that oh naivety uh, that you can you know maybe pull with the with the six of uh, cups so what to expect for this season well we have a lot of lessons learned with the higher event you know it's a lot of teachings and a lot of lessons learned in a hard way which i think is normal and plus that maybe that herself uh, i mean in this time and era i think that was still him uh, or maybe someone else uh maybe that is gonna you know make an appearance already which would be interesting uh, yeah, a lot of nostalgia, a lot of thinking about back the past, which makes sense because there are a lot of daddy issues in this season, uh, you know, both on Mary's part and both on John's part. Uh, there's going to be something that, you know, they probably connect on. Uh, I really like the actress who plays um, um, John's mo mother, by the way, but it, it was kind of weird. But <laughs> And, you know, we have this um, Eight of Pentacles, which is... Um, in normally just you know doing something and repeating something until you get it perfect but i forgot her name because like i told you i'm really bad with names so well, let me check uh, so i'm not saying um joe harwell okay joe of course it was joe and it's interesting because the description says that um she was independent brave but she decided to follow her father's footsteps and become a monster hunter. And that's perfect because, you know, we have Mary and maybe Mary is going to be represented 
buy this card. It can happen. Uh, and John as well. They are both, you know, they didn't say it exactly. Uh, the full quote of, you know, um, killing monsters and whatever. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ, my mind is really not good right now. They didn't mention the family business yet, you know, which is the usual uh, supernatural um, quote or motto. Uh, but it's that they are picking up their father's job, so to speak. And if this card is exactly that, which is like interesting, huh? And I'm just checking if there's anything. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's 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 following their father's footsteps, which is nothing surprising yet. I mean, this all came out in the first episode, but I, it's interesting that it's here. But I like this, you know, Ten of Swords here is in interesting. I don't like it for them because, you know, Ten of Swords is never a good thing. And this was a moment when they, uh, Sam and Dean, I think it's it's about that moment when Sam uh, pulled their, you know, brother into the cage with them. Or, you know, let, let he, he, he let him fall into that hole that was, or the cage that was open for Lucifer, something like that. You know, that it was like 13 seasons, so, you know. But it's, that's, so that's pretty much backstabbing. That's betrayal as well. It's not just an end of the, end of the line, a sacrifice and feeling like everything is lost, but it has an element of betrayal as well and getting trapped somewhere. So, you know, we have that here as well. Mm -hmm. Interesting, interesting. So there's going to be some backstabbing and and falling into maybe portals. We will see how literal we can go with this deck because what I really appreciate uh, with the um, House of the Dragon and Game of Thrones deck readings that that, that deck sometimes is quite literal in readings about what is actually happening in the season or in the show. So this is just a test, to be honest, uh, to see how literal we can go with it. And uh, I'm looking forward to do these readings. If you have questions about the show because, you know, you already formed an opinion about some relationships or some storylines that you are curious about and you want to get some answers, please comment down below and do let me know if you watch the show. I know that Carla and Maria posted um, a video about the first episode, but I haven't watched the the episode yet when that go video went live. So I haven't watched their videos, but I'm going to be watching that one as well. And yeah, uh, in the next one, we were going to be more question based, uh, but this was just an overall for the season. And I think I'm going to do what I'm going to do with the House of the Dragon is once the season ends, because it's going to be a longer one, obviously, I'm going to go back and watch these readings and do and maybe I'm going to do a mid-season because that's 12 episodes or something like that, you know, around, uh, around that time. Uh, there's a, a break always around Christmas. Maybe I'm going to do it uh, around that time to check up on the past readings and see what was there that we didn't see, because I think that's very not just interesting but that can be used to learn about cards and learn about readings and you know how to read them because this this is a good practice as well for not just for me but maybe for you guys who, who are you know interested in learning the server or just want to practice but you don't have um, people to practice with we can treat these episodes as real life events and and do readings so yeah, I'm going to stop blabbering because it's not going to be a short video after all. <laughs> you know me, I talk a lot. But yeah, hopefully this is interesting and you're going to join me on this hunt <laughs> as well. And see you in the next one or, you know, in any other videos. Thank you so much for being here. Have the loveliest day possible. Bye.